Hey everyone, welcome to another installment on my Word of the Year series. Um, for those of you who don't know, my Word of the Year is Nurture, and I chose that word to kind of remind me to um, nurture myself, my readers, and my writing time, nurture my family. I kind of, it, you know, we had kind of a tough year last year. If those of you have seen the previous videos, I've mentioned it before. Everybody hits those rough patches. And this year, I really wanted to kind of regroup. And so I chose nurture as my intentional word of the year. And I've kind of focused all my goals and everything around that, if that makes sense. And so in this video, I kind of want to talk about the importance of mentoring as far as nurturing yourself. Now, I'm part of um, Cynthia Bazin's uh, Smart Chick Inner Circle. It's a private mentoring group for women that has been phenomenal. The positive energy, the support. Um, if we have questions, we can ask each other. We can ask Cynthia. She's always got great topics to help us grow into who into our best selves, no matter what our profession or, uh, professional interests or personal concerns. And I think that's really important to, for me. I, I've been with her a couple years now, but I really want you to think about it. If you don't have a mentor in your life, you probably, it really helps you, it can help you grow. The right mentor can really help you grow and help you get your goals to the next level. Um, I think all of us have those mentors, people we look up to. I, I'd like to think so anyway, that, that those people are out there for us to um, emulate, to aspire to. My grandmother was probably one of my first mentors, my dad. Uh, definitely uh, one of my first mentors. Uh, nobody could motivate a room like my dad. And my grandmother had, man, the sharpest wit, but the kindest wisdom. And it, it was just really a nice a balance and the example that each of them set for me in various ways. And so those are some of the first mentors we have. But then you might have someone, a friend or a professional, you know, someone that you can look up to and aspire to. And I think mentoring for me, definitely, and I hope that it's true for others, is a key part of nurturing myself, nurturing my goals professionally and personally. That mentorship, that having that anchor and that touchstone is very, very important. So I would encourage you, if you do not have a mentor, to start kind of investigating that, um, whether it's a, a teacher or someone from church or a good friend. You know, I really think that that benefit you can gain through those relationships can really help us all grow and be better and, and to perk up our own corners of the world and, and really reach the goals and do the things that matter so much to us. I think mentoring can help us identify and focus our energy. So I'm going to give another shout out to Cynthia Bazin, who is my mentor and has been phenomenal for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and sign off and wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, if you be sure to check this out at reaganblack.com, post your comments, let me know. If you've got a word of the year, I'd love to hear about it. Um, but you can read more about me and my books and my journey through this year of nurture. Um, you can see all of that at my website, uh, www.reaganblack.com. It's in the comments or in the information as well. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll be back again soon with another message for you.